I left. I uh, kissed the kids goodbye, but I didn't tell them where I'm leaving. They were busy, so they were not looking. <laughs> um, my wife, of course, she knew already somewhere down the road that something is not right. She felt that, you know, that I made a decision which she's not going to like. So of course, she was upset um, badly uh, across the board. I was just, I was the only one who was actually going the other way. There was a big queue, of course, of uh, families, kids, and uh, who were trying to escape and trying to leave, uh, predominantly women and kids. Um, and uh, I had a friend of mine who was dropping off his wife and uh, their son. He was sending them to Slovakia. And I crossed where they were crossing in. So they were in the queue. So we met halfway. Uh, and then we went back with him and his wife and child and and her mother. They went and, and crossed the border. So it's um, it's been a tough journey, although it's been a bit expiring, uh, inspiring because while we were traveling, we met with a lot of, well, we drove through a lot of cities. And we've seen the, the level of um, enthusiasm, I would say, and the level of motivation, just local residents, you know, they were blocking their roads, they were blocking the roads leading to the cities, to the villages even, you know, um, organizing themselves, building barricades on the roads, uh, getting their <clears throat> hunting guns and, you know, check, making checkpoints, uh, checking for the passports. I mean, the whole nation is extremely motivated to fight this off. It's not like, you know, you have the big cities are... Uh, don't want Russia and the rest of the world. I mean, it's every single individual in Ukraine. They don't want this to come here. It's insane what is Russia trying to do. And now on top, they're bombing nuclear plants with tanks. I mean, they're completely out of their mind. I know the the general opinion as well, because we've, we've known each other for years. Mm-hmm. And none of them wants war. But it's very hard for them. For, for some of them saying no war or stop war, it's already a very thin line declaration for the Russian state. It is very hard for professional athletes to call out the regime because they still have relatives in that country which can be endangered. So I cannot really ask from the tennis players to you know come out and say what they what they want to say. It's impossible. Well we've been explained the basics and in terms of shooting some test rounds they said don't worry your time will have you will come you have plenty targets to shoot at. 